All right, welcome, welcome. Hope you guys had a good Memorial Day weekend. I was planning on streaming yesterday and getting this draft uh, finished, but I had some uh, stuff come up. My mother needed some outpatient surgery, and so I needed to be uh, driving her there and picking her back up and all that stuff. And it, right in the middle of the day, it took three hours, so... I'll just do it early today. Um, probably going to be playing August tomorrow and September on Friday. So get ready for three days of streams. You guys over on YouTube, I'll try and space them out just a little bit so they're not uh, consecutive days. But I'll try and get to the playoffs so we can play that next week. So anyway, today, calendar, we have... We've got to get through the 11th, which is the draft. Uh, if we have somebody in the home run derby, we'll play that. We don't play the all-star game. And then we'll get through the rest of the month, get to the trade deadline. Um, not sure what we're going to do. Um, I'm contemplating trading A.J. smith Shaver for a prospect outfielder from the Mets. We'll see if I decide to do that now or not. Um we don't have a lot of holes in the team right now. We just need them to play more consistent. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> Cough came out of nowhere. Um, so, <coughs> we uh, may not be very aggressive at the trade deadline. <clears throat> which will uh, help us get through this episode pretty quick and we will we will get through I will probably we have to get through the first to look at the uh, draft picks and what their real overalls and potentials are so we might just take it through August 2nd and finish off that Dodger series <clears throat> <clears throat> so you can see we have a very light divisional schedule this month it's just these three games against the pirates so <clears throat> um and since we have the draft which will take a little bit home run derby could take a little bit we we may only play one full game it depends on how quickly we get through this stuff um <clears throat> and uh which case we may go down to uh triple a and and go look at some of those players instead of uh, playing with our major league guys. So we'll see. Kind of flying by the seat of our pants today. We'll just see what how it goes. But we know we have we have the draft, we have uh, the All Star break, and we have the trade deadline. So <clears throat> um, let me look at the scouting one more time. I've gone in and added some guys to the list. <clears throat> I have a list by position of players that we're interested in. Um, some of them are low floor, high ceiling. Some of them are high floor, low ceiling. It just depends on what falls. Remember, I didn't scout a whole lot of pitchers this time. I didn't discover a lot of pitchers is what I mean to say. So um, it's gonna be hopefully dominated with hitters, but we have some pitchers, we do have some <clears throat> We have some uh, with these guys that uh, could go later in the draft that are 1-2 on our list. Um, got some <clears throat> not rated guys on here too. There's some others that we could attack later if we don't get hitters. You can see right there, we picked 25th, 62nd, don't have a third. So 100, 130, 160, 190. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to tell you right now, I am looking at, we're going to scout these, this pitcher and this hitter, <clears throat> but I am looking at this guy right here, um, he's got really good contact against lefties, decent power, really good defense except for his arm accuracy, great reaction, great speed, um, so this guy could be a good center field prospect. Could move him to left or right. 
Uh, he's got strong arms, just not very accurate. <clears throat> he is the guy I'm looking to in the first round right now. Um, I did not scout this guy. Um, this guy is a higher draft rank, like 53rd on MLB, so he should fall to us, where this guy may go before. Um, didn't like this guy because he doesn't have much of a bat. <laughs> Then you get these guys like this that are just, they could be a potential, but they could be 39 overall, right? This guy can't hit either. Um, Tom Moyer could hit, but he's he's doesn't have much upside. <clears throat> so, anyway, Nakajima wouldn't be too bad, but he's not a good glove at all. Wintner's another one of those guys that very only three point gap, so he's probably overrated. Thank you, Fiend Franchise, for helping out with that information. This guy's definitely overrated, overrated. He's just not a very good <clears throat> player. We did find Esteban Cabrera, so <clears throat> he's not rated. So, what I'm hoping to do is I'm hoping this guy can slide to the second round. He might not but we're hoping he could. Um, so it's actually between Esteban Cabrera. He's got great hitting, just to have a lot of power, really good speed. We could slide him to first base, actually. <clears throat> um, or this guy right here, Yusniel Colon. Um, Cabrera could have a slightly higher potential, but... Cologne's going to have a higher overall starting. So he's 54 to 66, and he's 64 to 76. So there's a better chance that this guy's going to be in the 70s to start, or he might be in the high 50s, low 60s. Um, he's 21. He's 19. So obviously he would take more time to develop. <clears throat> there's another guy right here, but he has no power against righties. So... Yeah, not not interested in a slap hitting third baseman. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> did not find any other. I didn't scout this guy. He looks pretty good, but I don't think he'll last to us. And the reason why I'm saying all of this is we've got reliever, reliever, closer, closer, reliever. That's five. Closer six. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> nine guys in the top 20 are relievers. <clears throat> so that's going to shift a whole bunch of other people higher up in the draft than they normally would go. So <clears throat> that's why we're looking at Cologne and um, Cabrera. So we will see, as we said, on the pitching side, we got this Ardon. Arden Salgado. Salgado looks like he's a solid B, maybe even an A. His only weakness initially is going to be strikeouts and home runs, but fastball, curveball, slider, changeup. Looks good velocity, good stamina. 18 years old, looks really good. <clears throat> um, but I, I need more hitters and pitchers. I would take this guy in the first round or even the second round. But um, if it comes to a tie between hitters and pitchers, I'm going to go with the hitter because we need to replenish the hitters. Um, this guy's hits and strikeouts are low. There's another one that's he could be uh, he could be easily be an A B potential, but be in the high 50s, low 60s. So all these pitchers are going to be long term prospects. So that's another reason why I'm really hoping Cologne lasts to us and would love it if Cabrera could just get into the second round. <clears throat> get those two hitters on, and then we'll just take whatever pitches we get. So that's, that's the game plan. We'll see what happens. Um, I've got 11 hitters on my 11 outfielders on my list. I got a bunch of third basemen and second basemen. Um, guys really we haven't scouted, but the ranges are okay, so maybe if we have to reach later, we can at least have those guys to look at. So anyway, that's where we stand.
<clears throat> so let's get started. <clears throat> and the twins want to trade me a reliever that I have no interest in. <laughs> For a third baseman, that's not good. Yeah, no interest in Topa, sorry. <clears throat> All right, Henry Davis is back down at AAA. He was hurt. All right, let's just do a straight fast sim here on Framber Valdez. And we lose 7-4. to four. Naylor, Walker, and Gorman with homers. Barlow got lit up. Uh, Valdez wasn't great, but Barlow was even worse. <clears throat> and that drops us into a tie. Let's see. Let's look at our minor leagues. Tink Hens struggled in June. That's not good. Victor Scott hit 372. Nice. He's he's progressing, so he'll likely be uh, our replacement for Adam Duvall next year in the outfield. <clears throat> wow, Mar Marcello, Marcelo Perez. Zero ERA with 15 Ks in 10 innings. Not bad. <clears throat> this guy right here. Nice. He could be working his way up. I'm hoping that potential gets pushed up, too. That would be nice. All right. Let's just do another quick sim. And we win 4-1. to one. Sunny Gray, seven shutout innings. Nice. Like that. Like that. <clears throat> and let's see if we can win this series. And we do. 7-5 to five win. Gorman and Walker with home runs. Bybee pitched well. JoJo did not. Miller did not. Romano gets the save, though. And now we have a two-game lead. So we had a one-game lead. Fell back into a tie. <clears throat> so we won two out of three. They lost two out of three. So we have a two-game lead. So there we go. <clears throat> Who's on the trade block? Man, I would love to have Jeffers over... Contreras. Um, Stephen Matz. What would it take to get Jeffers? Valdez and Ren Gifo. Nope, don't think so. <laughs> He's got to be a free agent, that's why. <clears throat> All right, White Sox. <sighs> um... Thorpe is a lefty, right? That's player lock. <clears throat> Let's player lock with Jordan Walker. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> hey, we're wearing a City Connects again. Love it. So I changed my settings, so that's why you're seeing the game play out before I bat. <clears throat> Which is nice, and you can actually see what happens as it happens, rather than just goes right to my ABs every time. <clears throat> I thought Fork was lefty. I was wrong. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Walker hits right. He's better than lefties anyway. Just my camera. Just a touch. Very tardy on my decision there. Come on. Got good contact. It was just a little too much inside. All right. <clears throat> Man, 
Bueller striking everybody out. All right. Two on, two out. Scoreless game. Oh, so far out in front. And we are so far behind. Oh, pick a speed, dude. How about 92? That would put us right on you. And we chase an 82. I did not play this morning, so that might affect how well I how well I do right now. Still a scoreless tie. To the ninth. All right, we got a chance for a walk-off here. <clears throat> we'll take a little blooper, though. Drop. Oh, man. Nobody wants to score. There we go. Josh with a base hit after a win gets a triple. job Walker that was a great game all right <clears throat> all right and painter he should be able to beat these guys and we don't lost six to four hopefully that was the bullpen that blew that Edmund Gorman and Duvall with homers. Nope, Painter didn't do great. Thompson got the loss, though. All right, let's check out scouting. So this guy dropped. This guy's nothing special. Ooh, discover. Looks like he is all speed and defense. <clears throat> do we need another outfielder? Man, what the heck? This guy. Eh. How many third basemen do I have? Maybe we can leave him on there. It says 39. Look at those ranges, though, man. 39 to 72. That's just such a wide range. Oh, I'm not going to worry about him. <clears throat> We'll keep that on outfield east. Let's change this. Anybody else that we really need to finish off? Doesn't look like it. How about relief pitchers? Closers. These guys are all these guys are also high ranked. They're all gonna go at the top of the second round. <clears throat> it wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Leave him at third. And leave him there. And let's just go. And we win four to three. Peter Vigna, he was in the first year's draft, hit a home run. Fromber bounces back, doesn't get the win. Pitched well, though. All right, Sonny Gray and Logan Webb. Let's go player lock on this one. And we'll go Nolan Gorman. Let's go. <coughs> oh, 
get a rain game. I'm supposed to be playing as Gorman. What the hell? Well, we hit a two-run homer. All right, here we go. <laughs> well, I'm glad he hit a home run in the sim. I would rather have done it myself, but that's okay. Might have to go back to the old settings. <clears throat> oh, so far out in front. God damn. Try to get a piece of that. Oh, well, this might be a rough gameplay episode. I should have played before I uh, went live. Mason Wynn with a two-run homer. Naylor with a solo homer. All right. There you go, boys. Sure, I was shocked he's still in the game. Got 23 home runs, that's what the scoreboard says. Finished last year with 99 ribs. We just could not get him to 100, even though we uh, player locked with him in the last game and hit a solo homer. We just couldn't get two RBI. Sonny's pitching well again. Gotta love that. Two on, two out. And now we have two on and one out. Kittredge, our old pitcher, is in. There we go. Come on. Sinker off the end of the bat. Can square that up. <clears throat> I know he wants double play. It's why we're looking low. Come on, boys. Not enough. It's going to be deep into the track. Oh, push him to third base at least. He didn't go? What the fuck? <clears throat> Three run homer. My God. Romano, what are you doing? So we held on and got the win. That's fucking terrible. <clears throat> Not sure I like that, so I might have to go change my settings here. I think I like it the other way. 
this way. Can't go to the control. Player locked, there we go. was <clears throat> all right straight sim we lose five to four Burleson with a home run Bybee pitched okay Barlow did not where are we at a one game lead let's save because we haven't saved yet <clears throat> all right four game set Walker Bueller Jordan Hicks Let's jump in here one more time. Brendan Donovan. Oh my gosh. Apparently, <clears throat> based on stuff on Reddit. Here, let me put something over here so when I set this down it doesn't slam on the microphone. Um, 11 o'clock Eastern, 10 o'clock Central. I heard that the embargo on NCAA college football 25 is going to be lifted, so we might see some actual gameplay today. So that would be uh, interesting because that's all I am interested in. Nothing else. Gameplay. I bought the game. I pre-ordered it. But if the gameplay is like Madden, we're just going to do Sim Dynasties and Recruit. I did get the early three-day access, so that means <clears throat> day one I'll be streaming, but I will not be doing gameplay that day. All we're going to do is quick sim and figuring out the recruiting and the uh, NIL and all that other administrative stuff. So if you want to watch gameplay, go watch somebody else. If you want to go through all the recruiting stuff, that's what we're here for. <clears throat> Spent all my time in the outfield fielding ground balls. <clears throat> trying to take that to left field. Come on. Oh, did not get that. I just saw that. Uh, Boyle, the pitcher that we wanted in the first year's draft that didn't fall to us, leads the American League with 130 Ks. Is that what that said? That's crazy. All right, tie game in the sixth. See if we can actually make solid contact this time. There we go, base hit. Come on, Josh. Need a gappa. And that's a double play. <clears throat> hey, Gorman with another two run shot. It gives us the lead here in the eighth. Oh, stay back and wait. You're we so far out in front of that bitch. Right down the middle, but I was way out in front. Get down. Get down. Oh. Hooked it. <clears throat> All right. One on, nobody out. Hit me a regular fly ball, please. No ground balls. <laughs> Come on, Romano. Do not blow this fucking save. 
He did blow the save, but Contreras hit a two-run bomb in the bottom of the inning. What the hell? Why did Walker Buehler leave so early? Tell me he's not hurt. <clears throat> he is out a day or two. All right. Painter against Raya. <clears throat> you know what? Let's pitch with him. My hitting is not great, so let's get in and do some pitching. <clears throat> if we can get this dude Rookie of the Year, we'll get an extra pick right after the first round which would be great because we're not going to have a high first round pick, but that would give us a sandwich pick between the first and the second. So where all of those uh, relievers and closers get snapped up, we could go get one of those elite bullpen arms if we wanted to, or if there was another hitter that we were interested in, we could double up on those guys. Go get that. <clears throat> I have my uh, strike zones set to perfect, and it does not give us those corners nearly as much as it should. He's not going to get them. Nice play by Wynn. Five, four, three. Thank you. At least the defense works when we're... Uh, Simming and not actually having to play offense and defense. Lazy fly ball. Go get that. Newt. Thank you. Because Painter is pitching so well as a rookie, um, we definitely aren't bringing Sonny Gray back. We will bring up one of our other prospects out of the minor leagues next year to fill that number five spot and move Painter up to four. But if we get an injury, like if Bueller's injury was more than just a couple of days, I would dip down, <clears throat> probably bring up Smith Shaver, and uh, let him pitch and not make a trade. I don't want to block. <clears throat> I don't want to block somebody from stepping up next year. Yeah, it's down in the corner, inside out swing. <clears throat> That's right. Two down. We got these baby backs. Good. There we go. Easy fly ball to center, and we're out of the inning. Let's go. <clears throat> Still no score in the third. Oh, he hung that one. Did not get that change up where I wanted, and that's usually what happens. <laughs> yeah, that's not where you want to leave it. Let's hope that's the only mistake I make. And our offense can bounce back. There we go. Nice pitch. Fastball up and in. Let's try to finish this guy off. How about a slider down and away this time? Now let's throw the change up. Make sure we bury this. There we go. Good ground ball. <clears throat> I mean, I was watching some of my gameplay from Rockies and A's. 
I've got to get my mojo back, man. I have not played like I normally play this year. I don't know what it is, if it's the game or what. Is it all of the uh, player locks? I don't get in a groove. So I was trying to throw that one pitch that he hit into the bullpen. <clears throat> All right. Still no offensive output by us. That shit was over his head. My goodness. get that there we go so far one bad pitch <clears throat> that's all it takes though Go. Here we go, new bar with an RBI double tied the game. <clears throat> job. Way to go. There's the home run, boy. Come on, get that, Donnie. There we go. All right, one run allowed through five. Need the sticks to get going. There we go. Donovan, RBI double, gives us the lead. It's only my 49th pitch here in the sixth. Grounded it short. That's an easy play. There we go. Stand here and take three pitches. I'll do that. I'll take that.
That was a good inning. Gotta love that. Let's go. Come on, Sticks. Three to one. Newt Barr with an RBI sack fly. Like that? Here, I'll give you an even bigger, slower pitch. <laughs> He's a hacker. He went up there swinging. Let's go. Thought that was another high fastball, didn't he? <laughs> Jammed him. All right. There we go. Two down. Where are we at pitch wise? 65 pitches. Do not take me out. I can finish this game. Go get it, Newt. Get back there. Get back there. Get back there. Oh, he missed it. It's all right. We got two outs. Come on. All right. Don't blow the fucking game. Don't blow my win. I need the win. Give me the dub. Take me to the fucking... All right. Three to one. <clears throat> Picture a painter here. I don't know why it did that. Stop. At least we got something for a thumbnail. And he, six and two-thirds, four hits, one run, one walk, six Ks. So Cano came in, got that dude out, didn't give up any runs for me. So now Painter is 10 and six as a rookie. Not even to the all-star break yet. He's got 10 wins. Dude's on pace for a 20-win season as a rookie. Walker Bueller's back. All right, we got two games, and then we're off to the draft. We'll just sim that. We win 12 to 6. Donovan, Walker, and Harold Ramirez. Why was Harold playing center field? My God. He needs to be playing DH. I'd rather have Jordan Walker in center field than him. Frommer got lit up. I got his fifth win. I'm sorry, 10th win. Mason Miller got the save. Why did he get the save? He didn't throw three innings, a tying run. What? Yeah, I guess it was a three. It was a three-run lead when he came in, so that's why. Let's look at the wait, standings. We have a game and a half lead. Phillies have sixty-two wins, so we're second in the National League. Wow, we're second in baseball. 
tied with the Astros. All right, stats. Donovan's down to 310. Walker's down to 265. Naylor was, remember, he was hitting like 350 earlier this year. Arenado's up to 283. Gorman's up to 282. He's got 24 bombs. He's got 23 bombs. 23. Contreras is regressing. And we got him for two more years. <clears throat> Duvall's doing great in part time play. He's not. Pitching wise. Fromber, 130 innings. Got to get that ERA and whip down for every one of these guys. We got three guys with 10 wins. Got to love that. Outside of Zach Thompson, the bullpen's doing Grell Barlow. Miller, never mind. Mill Miller's was over five at one point, so Sandlin's doing his job. Cano and Sandlin are doing their jobs. Romano is all over the place. Uh, league leaders, Otani. Doubles, triples, Mason wins third place. Home runs. We got three guys in the top five. So we're likely to have at least one guy in the home run derby. <clears throat> Strider, Montgomery with 13 wins. We got Valdez, Painter, Bybee with 10. He's already got 33 saves. Jeez. Strider's going to win Cy Young just because of strikeouts alone. <clears throat> Dude's only wild three home runs. Four shutouts. Yeah. All right. Let's look at awards. Get a sneak peek here. Cy Young and Strider. Rookie of the year. There we go. Andrew Painter's up to number one. If we can not implode in the second half with him. That will give us uh, an extra high draft pick. All right. That's good. All right. So, um, wish we could go in and look at the prospects before we get to the draft and it loads us into the draft one last time. These quality of life things that programmers who never play the game don't think about. All right, let's just do a straight sim here. And we win one to nothing. We'll have to see what happened in that one nothing game after we go to the draft. So here we are. Off to the draft. <clears throat> got all these pitchers at the top but we are we are looking at this guy dropped a 13 on our rank okay I'm looking I am hoping to get this guy in the second round because he's uh, NR and he's injured this is the guy I want to get in the first round with the 25th pick um You can see we got a lot of pitching options for later in the draft. There's another second base, but he's not going to be very high overall. Probably in the high 50s. Another guy that's overrated. Wish it wouldn't do this. <clears throat> Let's see. Because we accidentally 
took him off. Now it puts him at the bottom, so now I gotta push him all the way up to the top. actually have these guys in order on another sheet of paper that I prefer them so once I move them up we'll put them in the right order <clears throat> the least of pitchers I'm gonna put all the hitters at the top This is what I'm talking about. Quality of life stuff for the game. This is garbage. I don't want to leave them at the bottom because then I'll forget about them. I went and looked at all these guys off camera so I had an idea of when I wanted them so I could make this whole process. Did I forget him? There he is. Quicker. And here we are having to redo everything. Of these guys, I don't care except I'm gonna put all these hitters near the top because that's what we're focused on this year is hitters, if at all possible. <clears throat> I'm not gonna rank these outside of the top two hitters, I just want to push them up. God, this is fucking so tedious. The rest of the hitters I'm not going to put in order. I just want to get them up to the top.
This guy's going to be not that great, but I put him on there just because we need first baseman, younger first baseman so bad. I would, even if he was a C potential, I'd take him just to put him in the minors and replace a 30 year old dude. This catcher's not that great either, but he's at least scouted. Other guys that aren't listed here. Let's go find those position players. <clears throat> <clears throat> this guy I looked at had him. Um, was it him? Yeah. I had these guys. Let's figure out on there. Dunn, Luther, he's on there, he's going to get taken, I don't think I did, shortstop, Chima, Wintner, yeah, he couldn't hit, it wasn't him, yeah, he's overrated, um, <clears throat> well, let's, don't forget, we just found that guy, so let's add him on there, he's on there. This guy could be an A or B. We'll throw him on there. Throw him on there. All right. So all those other guys are at the bottom. So it gets to a point where we want to take another hitter. <clears throat> all the guys at the top that we want are gone. We'll scroll to the bottom and see if there's anybody left. But it is time to get in and do the draft. So let's go. This is the guy we want to get with our first pick, mostly because I think he'll he'll – he won't move up too high. I think with his, uh, you won't, you can't see it on here, but his projection is going to be like 29 and we're picking at 25. So he's 29 on our board, but he's like in the seventies for MLB. So I'm hoping he'll slide enough to us that we can take this guy as a hitter. Um, this guy's also a possibility too, but I'm hoping since he's NR, he can slide to the second. Um, the rest of these guys are not first round worthy necessarily. Um, this guy's the best pitcher sitting out there. Um, so if I had to, I would take him in the first or second. Um, and then the rest of these guys would be further down. So that's what we're looking at. So let's go and find out. Oh, man. <clears throat> All right, first overall pick, Eric Damon. There you go. Second on theirs, fifth on ours. We didn't even bother scouting him because uh, he wasn't going to get to us. Can't believe the Yankees had the first pick. Second overall pick to the Rockies, Sean Diaz, overrated starting pitcher. And the third one is Edgar Moda. A reliever. All right. <clears throat> Here, here's what I was saying. Ashton Nunez goes. Didn't even scout him because I didn't think he would be there. But Cologne here is the guy we're hoping to slide. Nino. 
Hey, we didn't scout him. He looks pretty good. He looks really good. He wasn't going to get to us. A's take JP Wog. A little bit of a bat, a little bit of defense. Boston takes Nakajima, left fielder. It's such a wide range, though. 47 to 71. Could be anywhere around there. Max Stone, okay. Top 10 pitcher we had. He was really good. Did not expect him to fall, so put him on the board, but there was no way we were going to get him. Sanchez, don't know if he's overrated or not. Probably is with those per nines like that. The Chubbs take Sam Hensley, second baseman. Depends. That's a tight 96 to 91 between his potential and overall. So he could be good. He could be overrated. Doug Bowman is definitely overrated, and he went in the first round of Toronto. Wow. Griggs. That's a guy we threw on the board just because he could be an A or a B, but he doesn't have great hitting. They got to fix the uh, the hitting. I know this guy's going to be a good hitter, but he's not going to field worth a crap. And I didn't scout him because I knew he'd be gone before we got to us. They don't have enough top hitting prospects in the first round. Didn't scout this guy. That walks per nine is why we didn't scout that guy. That's terrible. God. This guy, yeah, I didn't think he'd fall to us. He's kind of all over the place. He's only got three pitches. They don't like starting pitchers with three pitches. Lintner. Yeah, everything but power. Those are tight splits, so he could have been good. He could have been bad. Sparbori? Sparbori, what a name. Not rated. We didn't get him scouted. He has no power against righties, so that was not interested in him. And with Pierre Olsen, he could have slid to us. Strikeouts and hits per nine is only worse. And he's only a three-pitch pitcher, too. Really don't like three-pitch starting pitchers. Ferreria. Ferreria. Whatever the fuck. He's overrated. Ferriera. Hinojo didn't scout him. He dropped. I believe he... Yeah, he could be all over the place, but he dropped. Yeah, I wasn't going to scout this guy because he's got 40 to 64. Oof, that's, that's yuck. And they took the only catcher I put on the board. That's okay. I wasn't going to take him in the first round. Two more picks, and it's ours. Mike Ross. Walks per nine in pitch control. Everything's in the 90s. Has no off-speed pitches. And they took McGregor. All right, so. Now, our decision is... Do we take... Not taking the pitcher. We're taking a hitter. So do we take this guy? Great contact. Okay power. Great vision discipline. Great speed. Defense is going to be okay. We'd move him to first base. Or do we take this guy? So he's 19. His, uh, his potential is 54 to 66. Or his is 64 to 76. So we're giving up a little bit on the top end, but not much on his potential. He's two years younger than this guy. He's much better with speed defense, a little more even. I think we're going to take this guy. He may not stay in center field. He might go to left or even right. But he's rated 53, and he's not rated. So I'm going to take a chance that he can slide to the second round. And we're going to take this guy. I was, I've been thinking about this for days. This is the guy we're going to take. Neil Cologne. Hopefully he comes in on the B side and not the C side. Joshua Kendrick. Yeah, he was overrated. He's one of those guys, high floor. 
Kruger was overrated. He's not bad. He just doesn't have much upside to him. Gomez. Those ranges were so wide, it was pointless. Didn't have him on the board. Let's go here because it's going to skip to this one and we can go back and look. Dane McConnell, I think we had them on there, but he was he was more of a second round pick, not a first round pick. And then they start taking the closers. I didn't even bother with them because we weren't going to have, they're all going to go in this range. They weren't going to be there for us, so what's the point? It's up, tight spot. Here goes another one. Do you see who we took in the first round? This guy right here, Yusniel Cologne. It's pretty, uh, pretty balanced hitter. Really good speed and defense. There goes another one. And uh, it's between him and Cabrera. And we're hoping since Cabrera is not rated that he'll get to us in the second round. Doesn't have as much power, but he's got good speed, contact. Yeah, all these closers and relievers are going now. I thought about Meeks, but I knew he wouldn't get to us. Yeah. That's what we did this this whole season was scout hitters because we've got decent enough pitchers. We're, we're probably going to get two or three pitchers in this draft anyway. I was trying to get some hitters um, to replenish our minor leagues. Look at it. That whole round was closers and relievers. Pete Price, he was overrated. Strikeouts are terrible. Oakland, Danny Berger. Great velocity. Newhauser, there's that first baseman that's uh, he's actually not that great. He'll be pretty close to his his number when he comes out and yeah, this guy's just hitting up he's all speed and defense classic draft pick if they they would give us more bat this guy would be worth it they don't give us enough bat on these hitters <clears throat> Zapata he's injured though Benito Beltran didn't have him on the board. Hey, tie spot. Uh, our rookie Andrew Painter has ten wins now. He jumped up to number one on the uh, rookie of the year board. Yeah, we looked at this guy late. The Cubs, the Chubs take, eh, and a reliever. Who knows? With that range, we didn't bother scouting him. He could be good. He could be garbage. I don't know. Reynaldo Castro, no power, no defense. Oof. Yankees shit the bed there. Lewis Holiday, another reliever I didn't look at because his hits per nine were terrible. Can't have a hit. Can't have a reliever coming in and giving up hits. <laughs> Reed Sloan is injured. Didn't bother scouting him. The Padres. Will Reyes, he can be A or B potential. I don't know why I didn't scout him, though. I think I just missed him. Jimmy Johnson, per nines are terrible. Why did we not scout this guy? Eh, probably because he would have had to come in on the higher side. I think it's the 42 to the 66 that scared me off. 39 to 73 is his overall range. That's not good. Takahashi, another guy. Hector Gill, another guy with no power. All he uses is a speed guy. All right. Getting down the home stretch. Eric Kell was a pitcher that had more per nine issues. We're getting closer. Come on. Let Cabrera drop. This guy's overrated. <clears throat> what 
There goes the second baseman that we did scout. I would have taken him, but he was probably going to be in the 50s overall. So 18 years, you you can get away with an eight, you know, 50 overall guy. Moyer looks good, but 88 to 85 on his splits, only three. He could be good. He could be bad. You don't know. Troy Hogan, we never scouted. I don't like taking a chance. All right, two more picks. Is our guy going to fall to us? They take a reliever. All right. If the Twins don't take Cabrera, we're going to take this third baseman. They didn't. They took Ruiz. All right. So this guy looks really good, but we want this guy. Let's take a screenshot of that and then draft him. Don't like the yellow glove. But we got us... We got us two hitters at the top of the draft. Yes. Love when a plan comes together and works. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Painter's been really good. All right. The rest of the draft, if we can get another hitter to slide to us, that would be great. Any of these guys still down here? Yeah, we got a bunch of hitting options down here. So we'll look at those guys later. I don't think Salgado will get to us. It's got to go all the way to 100. I mean, if, if this guy falls, I will definitely take him. All right, so they started taking... That's a guy we discovered late. Just didn't like that he was all speed and defense. Sidney Doughty. Man, he's just taking a high potential dude. This can take forever. Competitive balance. This is, um, these guys lost players as free agents, and so they get a pick here. <clears throat> Let's go. That guy's not bad, but he's a reliever. Guy didn't have much upside. Definitely going to be in the 60s. There goes Salgado to the Twins. I would have taken him in the first round if we didn't need hitters in our uh, system. Definitely would have taken him with our last pick. <clears throat> but we, we've got to get some more bats in the uh, system. There's another third baseman with no power. So now they're taking some of these guys on our list. Vasquez. Yep. Starting to pick over some of these guys at the bottom. Gonzalez. Yeah, it's all defense. Sellers. Didn't scout. Let's get back to the top of the list. For sure. So Santos. He's got five pitches <clears throat> and walks and strikeouts are his only, but everything else seems pretty good. So Hag goes, we had him on the list. Castilla, these guys all have stuff that's not great. This guy's not bad, but his potential is not very high. <clears throat> Same thing with him. This guy can throw hard. He's 21, but he's not going to have very much of a, high potential at all let's go look at these guys this guy could have a decent bat not like right away he's 22 so we don't know but he could be a decent player but he's 22 so he'd have to come in on the higher end of the overall be in the high 50s low 60s even then it would take him a while to progress but that would be another bat in the organization this guy doesn't have well he can hit righties Got some power against righties. Kurt Dunn wouldn't be bad. Um, Luther, much better speed and defense, although he's potential and overall right the same. Sposato definitely can hit 
fielding is a little suspect. Again, 90 potential, 88 overall. Tommy Tran is a little bit better in his splits. Good speed. His hitting could be all over the place, though. But he could be high 50s, low 60s at 22. That's not good. Same thing with this guy, 41 to 65. Who went? Luther just went, so we don't have to worry about him. Kurt Dunn just went, all right. So they're picking off a bunch of these guys at the bottom of the draft. Banks. Pena. Let's move these guys up. Put them right by Santos. Both 22. Both. He's got a little bit better, higher potential. He could be higher overall. There goes Tommy Tran. So he's gone. <clears throat> Driver's gone. All right. So Santos has got a nice pitch mix. Still could be in the high 50s. So it comes down to we want... Do we want another pitcher or do we want another hitter? And I don't mind having two guys at first. I'm going to move the other guy to first base. He's not staying at third. Because we have some old guys in the organization. So that would just give us some young guys in the minors to play with. It's Chen. All right, two picks to go. And that was a shortstop. All right, so two picks to go. So it's going to be one of these two guys. Santos or Banks? And then we have to decide. Do we take the pitcher? Doesn't have a lot of velocity. You know what? We've been we've been going all along that we needed more bats. We're taking Banks. If the other guy's there with the next pick, we'll take him. And at this point. So we get a center fielder, a third baseman, and a first baseman with the first three picks. Sedania went. That was good on the list. Acevedo was injured. All right. So Santos. Yeah, we have the bottom half still left. All these guys are in the bottom half of our list, so. Charles Lemon. Reminds me of Chet Lemon. He used to play for the White Sox and Tigers. Let's go back after it switches. Bam. Hoyt Stark. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go ahead and sim to our pick and see if Santos is still there. And he is. Well, shit, there we go. We got them both. Can't argue with that. He's number eight on our board. And we got him at 130. <laughs> wow. So we got, we got a good pitcher and we got three hitters. There we go. There we go. All right, so we have five pitchers left for our last two picks. So let's sim and see if we get any of those guys. All right, so now we're down to four guys. All right, his per nines are low. His per nines and his control are low. His strikeouts suck. All right, we'll just go with Castilla. draft. There we go. Michael Castilla. Got him 106 at 160. Exactly. 
And he's an NR, so those NRs will go. And I would have taken him last round, but I'm like, mm, we can get another bat. It's not like it was a high-quality bat, but I lucked out and we got both. So, got to like that. All right, let's go to the last round. And now we have a choice. All right. He's got three pitches. He's got five, but his strikeouts suck. You know what? What is his pitching? What's his pitch mix? Running fastball, change up slider. We can give him something else. We'll take him. Vinny Huerta. Another not rated dude. Not rated in 84th on our board, and we get him at 191. I'd say this was a very good draft. <laughs> We we ended up getting pitchers that slid and got all the hitters that we were hoping to get early, and then we got an extra bat there in the third round, fourth round, whatever that was. Right? So, Cologne I had targeted because um, he should not get taken early. He was going to be able to reach us, Right? And be a decent player with really good fielding. All right. Really good fielding, really good speed, good contact against righties. Doesn't have a whole lot of holes in his, his game other than his army accuracy, right? So that that's why I did all weekend was going through this draft board and looking at the players and figuring trying to figure out who we liked over who other else. And this guy was clearly the best ranges on his potential and overall that would be available for us. Um, would have been nice to get, where is that first baseman? Loftus would have been nice, but we didn't scout him for a reason because I didn't expect him to get to us. And then Cabrera, this not rated hitter that has great contact, vision, discipline, and speed, decent fielding, could play third, could get shifted to first. Hell, he could play outfield. We could move him to left field if we wanted to. He just didn't have a lot of power. And then Banks was just a dude that I was going through and looking at. And I'm like, his potential looks like it's going to be in the 80s. And his overall would be in the high 50s. So he's not a, a star player, but we need more first basemen. So that's why I wrote him down. That's why I made a list of guys at position that we could add to the board. So if they were there, we didn't have to take another pitcher. And then we lucked out that this Edgar Santos dude made it. Where'd the other guy go? Where'd that starting pitcher go? Oh yeah, Salgado. He was number one on our board. But once the... Uh, once the third baseman made it to us, I was going to forego another pitcher to get this hitter. But we still got number eight on the board, who's going to be at least a B potential. And this guy's at least a B potential. And this guy, he could be a B, but he's a sixth round pick. If he works out, great. If he doesn't, eh, whatever. So, there was no generational player in this draft. Wow. Let me save this. I can't tell you how excited I am that we actually got three hitters at the top of the draft. Wow. They're not, not going to be you know world beaters, but at least we got some younger players in the organization and uh, I, I didn't want 19 million starting pitchers. So, all right, let's go back and see what happened in this one nothing win. Sunny six innings, five walks were a bit. Eh. Cano comes in and gets the win because we got a walk off. Arenado drove him in, right? <clears throat> All right, 
Bybee and Gore. Um, we'll skip through this. Where are we at? We're in hour and 20. We might have somebody to play in the home run derby. So we'll play one full game as we get further down. Uh, maybe against the Pirates. Maybe the Phillies. Maybe we play this game so we can beat the shit out of Kobe Al Colby Allard. <laughs> All right. Tanner Bybee. <clears throat> Stop simulating. We won 16 to 5. Edmund Gorman and Arenado with home runs. My goodness. Bybee pitched great. Thompson did not, but Bybee's got 11 wins now. All right. At the All Star break, we have a game and a half lead. Let's see. That's five, three, it's eight. So we're four games behind the Phillies for the best record in the National League. We have the second best record in baseball. There's our home run leaders. It's not at the exact middle point because you can see Walker's played 98 games, so we only have 64 games left. But these guys are on pace for 30. He's slowing down. Walker's probably going to be the only one that has a shot at 100 RBI unless one of these guys gets really hot. Ramirez. He's just a part-timer. Naylor, 319, 315, 308. Arenado's up to 293. Wow. Ooh, look at the look at the power for Gorman. 93 against righties, 81 against lefties. <laughs> okay, okay. I see you. Donovan's starting to regress. I don't know why. He's only got four years in the league. Pitching wise, Fromber ten and four, Bybee eleven and five, Painter ten and six, ERA below four. His overall went up to seventy eight, start of the year at seventy seven. Sunny Gray's down, Bybee's actually going down. He's only got three years. Why is he regressing? Fromber, all over. Bueller, all over. Handling needs a pitch more. Um, let's put you there. Painter still number one. Look at this guy hitting 208, leading the American League for Rookie of the Year. That's terrible. All right, let's go to the Home Run Derby and see if we have anybody in it. At Oakland, okay. Should we put him in my Oakland Stadium? I think so. And we have Nolan Gorman and Josh Naylor. No, Jordan Walker, really? Really? All right. Well, we got two guys in the Home Run Derby, so I haven't had this before. Let's check it out. And they would face each other, so we would only we wouldn't have both of them in the finals. So Naylor has to beat Tucker, and Gorman has to beat Mountcastle. And Naylor's up first. Over the hit it here sign. Ooh, just got it out. This is the. 
new and improved Treehouse Park. New seating out there in right field. Eh, that's going to get out too. Just missed. 420. Hit the hit it here sign. Hit it again. Got all of that one. That was a rocket. Nope. Got that one. 460. Hooked it. Get all of that one? Nope. I would hit the scoreboard. All right, in bonus time. He's got 24 home runs. There we go. 469 is longest. Next user batter. All right, Josh beat him pretty good. <clears throat> Nolan Gorman, here we go. Got all of that one. Ah, come on. Give me a good pitch. I'm going to beat this dude in two minutes. There it is. <laughs> Tani and Julio Rodriguez are on the other side, and Naylor and Gorman are over here. So we're guaranteed one guy in the finals. Hit the scoreboard. Give me a better pitch to hit, for God's sake. He's throwing him down and away. Go. 
cue with a raid. I can't pause this. I'll catch you after we're done hitting this guy. Thank you, Q. Man cave. Welcome in, guys. And finish up this home run derby at bat with Naylor. That was a deep shot to left. And bonus time. We got hot in the second half here. He hit 24 home runs last time. There's 23. And two rounds of 24 home runs. Welcome, welcome. You're close to getting your affiliate back. One more day. Good, good, good. How you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Shout Q out. Here, just for you. And by the way, they're real oh. and they're spectacular. Alrighty, let's see what he can do. <laughs> that was a bomb. As soon as we get done with this round, I can stop and talk. I want to figure out who's in the finals for us. Yep, that one works too. Damn. Yeah, they both made the semis. Well, if they were on opposite sides, they could have had a shot of neither one making it. But they put them all on the same side, so we're guaranteed one once we won our first mat first round matches. Gorman's got the better power, but Naylor's got better contact, so his PCI is bigger. Throw that shit inside. Got all of that one over the top of the retired numbers. Oh, he needed that one to go out. I don't know if he's going to get enough. Time's going to go fast here. Nope, Naylor didn't want it because I missed on that one. Well, that's a picture. <laughs> Cue out here painting pictures in chat. All right, Josh hit 24 in both rounds, so he's been the most... Uh, impressive one so far so <laughs> let's uh, fast forward and it's going to be Otani against Naylor for the home run derby all right if we win this Naylor gets a trophy on his uh, thing yeah right there ain't nothing innocent let me find this hold on hold on there you go All right, we need to put up a big number. Since we're going first. Three minutes to go. 
I bet you did. That's gone. Ah. Come on, over the plate, not inside. Had to go get that one. Got that one. So you saw me the whole time? Yeah, I was trying to get this in quick. Um, I've got uh, somebody coming to take a look at our roof because we had hail the other day that also put tiny dents on my Mustang. And uh, trying to get a workout in and all kinds of other shit. So we're not going to watch Otani. We're just going to sim. And Josh Naylor wins... Go. All right. Uh, the car's okay. Some of the some of the dents popped out on their own because it was uh, in sunshine the whole next day. But I needed to get up in the. The mid to high 90s and that'll pop some more of them out but here look Naylor's gonna have uh, home run derby on his card and this is why I wanted the extra first baseman because we've got 30 26 27 29 31 yeah we had nothing third base is a little bit better um, center field we do have some here so I might kick the guy we drafted over to right field very good chance I move Cologne over to right field so alright send the all-star game American League won so that means American League has home field <laughs> and we can't sign draft picks yet because we have to send this game. So, Manaya is a lefty, so let's go player lock. Arenado. Oh, man. So, how was your stream? It said you were playing, I shouted you out, what you were playing, Criminal Mindset. So how was that game? Never played that before. Alright, two on, two out here in the first. Come on, Nolan. Dipped underneath. Way underneath. Uh -huh. 
should have played Diamond Dynasty before I went live. Get through, get through, get through. Run! Run, Forrest, run! Fucking slow as shit. Free demo version? Ah, okay. I did uh, I did pre-order the uh, college football game. And we're down one nothing. Two outs. Good throw. There we go. All right. Out of the inning. You want to pre-order it too? <laughs> Q will be running your own dynasty. Oh, we're down five to nothing. God damn it. Eight to nothing. Wow. It was an ass kicking out right out of the break. He's only going to get a single out of that because he's so goddamn slow. Uh, we'll send him. We'll send him because he's going to send him home and he's going to be out. Come on, Donovan, let's go. Yeah, have to get the PS5 first. I bought it last year when we thought the game was going to be out last year. Alright, 9-3. to three. three straight RBI double skins. Oh, here, let me put the NWO out. We had a great game last night between uh, Revamp and Coach Brusso. Number two, Wisconsin knocked off number one, Miami, and stopped Miami's like 30-something-plus game home winning streak. And tonight at 8 Central, we've got... Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm playing Cincy Bowen at 8 o'clock Central tonight. Hopefully my defense shows up tonight. I have no problem with offense. It's the defense not showing up is a problem. Walker. Two errors hurt him. Minor league pitchers broke his foot. He's out one to two months. Oh. Let me go fix that before we look at our draft picks. Why will it not let me put him on the DL? All right, we'll move him to Class A. And let's see, Bill, Tanaka, Cordova. Let's move Corona up to Double A. 
Blue Pepperman, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Let's go. This is double A, so Corona. Do we have any other starting pitchers? He needs to go there. I don't know why he's not closing. Um, I just saw that. I just saw that. Uh, where is it? Why is he? Hold on. This guy needs to go there. Um, I don't agree because it's not the same. It's not the same level of competition for either side. Um, I don't understand the, the need to do that, but whatever. It'll just mean Barry Bonds isn't the uh, home run champion anymore. <laughs> All right. No, he is. Didn't, didn't Gibson have more home runs? See, that's the point. It's kind of, it's pointless. It's pointless. I don't, I don't understand why it needs to be done. I just jammed my knee against my desk. That's not good. All right, let's go check out our draft picks. Santos is signed. Can't sign him. Banks is signed. Where's Cologne? Where's Cologne at? I guess he signed. I didn't sign him. All right, let's straight sim that. We went 11 to 3. Um, they're two separate leagues, so you're counting Major League and Negro League, right? They should just keep their own stats for their own leagues, and that way you don't have to worry about the competition. You're playing against your own competition and just leave it that way. It'd be one thing if they were playing against each other, but they weren't. All right, Naylor and Walker hit home runs. Painter, two runs in six innings. He's 11-6 and six now. There he is, first on the Rookie of the Year. All right, I'll just sim that, and we win 16-3. to three. Fuck. Nine RBI for Wilson Contreras. He had two doubles and two homers and drove in nine. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. All right, still have a game and a half lead. He signed. He signed. All right, Sunny Green, Colby Allen. I'm going to play this full game, so let me go save this. What unis do we have? 
let's put them in their city connect and we'll just stay in our gray and for whatever reason my earbud decided to die oh shit I'm gonna have to play with no uh, sound in my ear to mute that and go no we're not playing in rain we'll do overcast all right so two and four so we have three games or three games behind the Phillies for the best record in National League so these are the two teams playing to uh, control home field and these are the Phillies City Connect unis if you haven't seen them before. Crush that. Is that going to get to the wall? Nope. Almost. Almost. It's close. Anybody in chat know if they've released gameplay footage for uh, college football yet today? Supposedly there's an embargo and it was being lifted today. So if you uh, know of gameplay out on YouTube or whatever... Let me know in the chat so I can go check it out when I get done here. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't expect you to. Oh. Got him. Good job, Sonny. Of course, a bleeder gets through. Make a good pitch and get penalized for it. Right pitch to run on. Got him. Backed up on me. Struck him out. <laughs> Hit him, but he swung at it, so he's out. All right, Nolan, let's go. Hold on, I'll be right back.
sorry about that. The guy coming to look at the roof, I told him I was going to be streaming until 12, 1230, and he thought I wasn't going to stream until 12, 1230, so he just showed up. I didn't see his text because I'm busy playing. So he's here, so he's going to go check the roof and come back later so we can talk. Reading comprehension. <laughs> I know him. He's a friend of my younger sons. They went to school together. His dad has a, a roofing business, so. Come on, Donovan. Let's go. We gotta get our hits going. Right at him. Every time. <laughs> he knew what I meant because he knows that I stream. He just read it wrong. Oh. I can tell he's here because my dogs are losing their shit. sure why my earbuds are it says they have 71 percent left on the charge yet the one went dead and the other one didn't want to turn on Ooh. hung that and got away with it that should have been hit a long way <laughs> should have been hit a long way Tommy, get there. All right. Yeah, get out in front. I want to play this game because I wanted to fuck up this dude's ERA. And he's dealing. <laughs> he's kicking our butt right now. No hits allowed. All right, Wilson. We just had a nine RBI game in, in the sim. Two doubles and two homers and nine ribs. Ah, don't swing at that shit. There's, nope, he's going to catch it. I was going to say, there's our first hit. Nope. They catch everything in the outfield, man. Come on, Mason. This dude has a 17-game hit streak in real life as a rookie. Plus, he's playing gold glove shortstop. The game doesn't give him enough credit. No. Shut up. It's enough.
Yeah, the ball got too much of the plate. That's never good. At least it stayed in the park. Arenado cannot field shit in this game. Gun him down. Sit the fuck down. Should have been fielded and out at first anyway. Another fucking hit up the middle. Oof. Try to get him a chase. Got him. Well, he's hit the ball hardest out of everybody so far. Two deep fly outs, though. Come on, Josh. We're in the fourth inning. He's only thrown 22 pitches. I got to take more goddamn pitches. Here we go. No hitters gone. That was a terrible animation for the shortstop, too. This guy does not throw hard, so staying back is going to be difficult. <laughs> I want to attack everything he throws. That's over his head. That's going to be off the wall. Almost out of here. My goodness. Missed it by a foot. All right, Nolan, let's go. Fly ball gets us a run. Out rally. Come on, Nolan. He's going to pitch around him because Newt Bar's on deck. <clears throat> See if he can hang one and we can park it. There we go. That's two runs. Hard 12 mile an hour line drive. Bam. That was a rope. All right, Donnie, keep this going. Uh, not like that. 
All right, we got the lead. Killing me right up the middle. Now we gotta worry about this guy stealing. Oh, come on. Make a good pitch and we get fucked again. And that, my friends, is how you pitch out of a jam. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah. So far out in front. Come on, hang one. Let's go. Didn't get it. That's what I wanted, and I just didn't get it. And he's out of the game, really. Get down, get down, get down, get down. There we go. Turn that lineup over. Another flare. All right, Josh, now your clutch kicks in. Let's go. Go, go, all the way. Yes, to the wall. 
bounce, stay in. Edmund's going to score from first. Let's fucking go. Come on, Jaywalk. No. That's going to get caught. No. All right. That's down in the corner. That's at least three. Come on. Come on. Chug. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> he didn't last very long, did he? Come on, Nolan. Hmm. Trying to go yard, and I didn't get out in front of that one. There it is. Stay fair. Stay fair. Yes, off the top of the pow foul pole. Powerful. Foul pole. I can't talk. There we go. Number 26. I was so excited. I forgot to speak English. Maybe I'll speak in Finnish. Kind of doubt it. <laughs> Look at this. Hits right off the top of the foul pole. Doink. <laughs> Seven, nothing. Five run inning. Let's go. My only regret was we didn't score all these runs off that other dude. Is that going to sneak through? You better get on base. God, he is so slow. Inning keeps going. Come on, Donnie. Just keep piling on. Best part of that was only one home run out of that whole mess. <clears throat> so it's not up. It's not like we're out here hitting tanks every every damn batter. Come on. Harper falls down on the bag. That was a weird animation. Got him. Yep. And we're pitching well, too. We keep getting those bleeders up the middle. Look at that swing. <laughs> Got him that time. There we go. Eight Ks. Nine Ks. <laughs> there we go. Come on, Lars. Keep tacking on runs. Yeah. <clears throat> Got 
There's a rope. Just late. That's double play. Rolled over, right into a double play. I am not staying back today. Q, I saw that. Why is get down, get down one of your favorite lines? Eh, it's a little flare. Usually use that uh, that that term on the dogs. <laughs> what is his steal? Fifty six. All right. No point in trying to. Say. You know what? Fuck it. We're going. Safe. Oh, that was a bullshit call. Oh. Smart guys do it. What the hell was that? All right, kept him in the yard. That's not in the yard. That was right down the middle. <laughs> well, got away with one, didn't get away with the second one. No, I don't need to see a replay. Oh, he almost swung at that. might run him out for the seventh so we don't have to use three innings out of the bullpen. Oh, man, he's hit the ball hard today. Just nothing to show for it. I mean, he did get a little blue pit, but he's been hitting ropes all over the place. There we go. That's in the gap. That's another extra base hit. Dig, dig, dig. Nope, nope, nope. Hold up. We got there a little too fast. That gets by him to the wall. That's an easy double. Hold on. So he's got three hits. Single, double, triple. So Walker just needs a home run for the cycle.
I wasn't sure he was going to catch that. All right, bottom of seven. Should be his last inning. Got him. There we go. He's a fast catcher, too. There we go. All right, he's done. Get him out of there. Good game by Sonny. Got to love it. Yeah. It says good contact, but he didn't make good contact. It was just a lazy fly ball. You need to get somebody on. Walker can get up in the ninth and hit a home run. He'll hit for the cycle. Come on, Wilson. Base hit guarantees Walker comes up. Nope. All right, we have to do some, do some rallying in the ninth to get Walker up. New pitcher. Arnado can catch pop flies. No, he can't field a fucking ground ball in this game. in my spot badly. There we go. Easy, easy, easy. Good job, boys. All right. Need at least one guy on so Walker can come to the bat. There's one. Get by him. Get by him. That's a double. There we go. All right. Now double play can't wipe it out. So we should have Walker come up with a chance to hit for the cycle, but he needs a bomb. It's 20 doubles for Mason Wynn. Mm. 
tardy. Very tardy. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it's just a bit foul. Oof. Swung at ball two. Barely got a piece of it. Shocked I didn't strike out on that one. Here we go. Should be three and two. That was ball four. God damn it. All right, let's go, Josh. It was a short backstop. <laughs> a very short backstop. High fastball and I missed it late. What a pitch. All right, Walker, need a home run for the cycle. Here we go. He hits a home run here, I'll do a double shot tequila just for you guys. Get out of play. Thank you. Keep that bat alive. Ah, that was the one, and I missed it. I was late. Looking inner half. Do a foul. This is my revenge when the CPU does this to us. And he doesn't get the cycle. Does get a walk. All right, Gorman. Nope, that's three out. All right, three outs to go. This game over. Sit down.
there it is. All right, boys. Everybody but Donovan and Contreras had hits. Good job, Sonny. Go. His ERA didn't go up a ton. All right, we're gonna have to go a little bit faster, pick up the pace here, get this get this episode over. Bybee and Nola. Double A guys out one to two months and we win Duval with a homer Bybee gets his 12th win <clears throat> okay I didn't draft this dude I did not draft this dude how is this guy on our team what happened to our first round pick I did not draft this dude. What the fuck? All right, I'm going to say it right now. If we get done signing these guys and I'm missing my outfielder instead of this guy, I'm going to go all the way back to my save file. Let me just see where my last save is. It won't let me. Son of a bitch. What is the deal? Where is my guy? We didn't draft this guy. We did not draft this guy. It said we pick, picked him in draft round one. We didn't take this guy. We did not take. All right, I'm backing out right now. I know I just played that game. I'm not signing that. What is the, what is going on? This is not someone we drafted. We didn't draft this guy, and we certainly didn't draft him at 45. What is going on? All right, we sweep the Phillies. New Bar and Contreras with home runs. Walker, Bueller. Wow. Something is glitched, royally glitched. I have no idea what's going on. All right, let's just get this month over with. And we beat the Red Sox 11-0. Edmund, Naylor, and Gorman with home runs. Andrew Painter with a five-hit shutout. Yes, there we go. He's 12-6, leads the team and wins. 
Wow. Most definitely going to win Rookie of the Year. It's going to get us another first-round pick. We are on a roll now. We have won uh, six games in a row. Seven. Seven in a row after we lost that one. We've only lost three games the entire month. Naylor, two more home runs. Valdez pitched great. He's got 12 wins. My goodness. We have a three and a half game lead now. And we have the best record in the National League. We have the best record in baseball, boys. All right, well, we're not going to get a lot of player like I want to get this over with and done. Um, definitely don't want to play at Boston. And we lose 5-2. to two. That's okay. Sandlin. All right, Pittsburgh and Lever. Yeah, Let's play player lock on this one against our old pitcher. And what are we going to do? Let's do Mason. Yeah, if I lose that first round pick, I'm going to be royally pissed off. Stay back. Gone. There we go. a laser didn't get very high just a line drive straight out all right and we got three runs bounce back got the lead oh i don't think he got enough of that to go out that's gonna be on the morning track just in front of it it's all right up four to two new pitcher Is that going to be enough to score him? Play at the plate. He's not very fast. Safe. Yes, there we go. Five to two. Bounced. Thought he caught the ball, so I was going back to first. <laughs> Fooled myself. All right, two down. Now I can go. Come on, Jaywalk. You're 0 for 3. Hit a bomb. Put this game out of reach. Let's go. That was a bad swing. All right, four run lead. just happened there the, the batter stopped before first base he didn't even run it out and I threw him out that was there are definitely gremlins in the system today and I'm worried I'm gonna lose my first round pick if I find him on somebody else's team I'm gonna force a trade to get him back
All right, we got the dub. <laughs> Soto only has nine home runs because he's been hurt most of the year. Contreras and Wynn hit their 10th each. Bybee does great. He's got 12 wins. All right, all right. Four home runs allowed that game. Donovan and Herrera hit home runs. Bueller got pounded. He's been up and down. All right. Two and a half game lead. Painter, 8-5 win. Hopefully he didn't give up a bunch of runs. Three runs in five innings. Does not get the win. Okay. That sucks. Active Phillies, no. All right, we are to the trade deadline. I said we were going to finish this whole Dodger series so we don't have any of that hanging over, and we'll start next stream right here at Washington. Um, let's go look at the trade. Trading block. This is the only guy I'd really be interested in getting. It's going to be a free agent, but I don't think it's really worth it. We don't really need anything. Offense is rolling. Bueller's kind of bouncing around, but everybody else is doing pretty good. Sonny's going to leave at the end of the year. I don't think we need anything, guys. So, Shohei's pitching. Let's player lock and do a lefty hitter. Let's do Naylor. They have Danny Jansen instead of Will Smith as their catcher. This will be the last player lock game. And we are wearing our City Connects again. Freddie Freeman bunting. I don't think so. Maybe the first time we've faced Shohei since uh, we started this franchise. We haven't played the Dodgers in the playoffs because we can't get past the first round. Little flare. Is that going to drop? Yes. Oh, foul ball. Just missed. I was waiting for That was a splitter. I thought it was a slider. Moved like a slider. That was a nasty one. That's what I thought he was going to throw the last pitch. All right, no score in the third. And doesn't get the double play. Usually that's an automatic double play. Runner never moves, and the first baseman tags him. All right, down 3 nothing. Ooh, tie game, new pitcher, Dustin May in. Carrot top. That was filthy sinker, man. That ball. That ball's coming in here and we whoop, took a direct left turn. Ah. 
Ah, roll over it. And we lose. Newt Bar and win with home runs. Sandlin, unearned run. It's all right. Red Sox, no. Isaiah Drake. That's the center fielder we got from Atlanta in the deal with uh, Smith Shaver for Helsley. Not bad. Henry Davis. We'll probably bring him up in uh, September. Corona is another draft pick we had, 225. That's that, that guy I just put up the double A. Reyes, not bad. Okay. Let's see what all of the trades were. Zavala goes, yeah, nothing at the deadline. Fairbanks went earlier. Zach Veen to the Twins. Benintendi to the Pirates. That was, yeah, really nothing special. Peraza to the Yank. Peraza to the Tigers for Max Clark. They would never make that trade. Max Clark is their next really good guy. Okay, whatever. Now we have a four-game lead in our division. We did not draft that guy. I had no idea what the fuck is going on. So we'll just sim this game. We win 8-7. to seven. Now we can look at our draft picks. Freema to Otani, Outman... Sonny Gray got lit up, but we held on and won 8-7. to seven. We're at 70 wins. Phillies are up to 72. And let's go look at our draft picks. And it... How, we lost our center fielder! We lost our center... How? How does this happen? The guy we picked in the first round went away. Look at this guy, 99 potential. How did we lose our our first round pick? We didn't take a reliever. We took a a center fielder, and he gets somehow glitched into a reliever. This guy's a, he's the other guy we took. He's a 61B potential. Good bat, not great fielding, great speed. 85 potential, great. Banks, 85 potential, but he's only a 58. This guy's 87 potential, and we knew he was a B. His Ks and walks and pitching clutch are low. Everything else is good. This guy... His pitching clutch and his K's and hits are low. He's an 80. How do we lose our center fielder for this shitty ass reliever? You saw me. Look. This is the guy we drafted. That's the guy we drafted. Right here, look. You Neil Cologne, that's the guy we drafted. <laughs> How does this happen?
I have never had this happen before. He is not anywhere. All I got to do is look for center fielder. I'm stunned. I'm not even looking at the other guy. I'm I'm in shock. I'm just looking to see how did we lose our center fielder? Have a four game lead. Josh Naylor has 29 home runs now. Gorman has 28. Three guys with 12 wins. ERAs are a bit rough. Game and a half behind the Phillies. Second best record in baseball. I'm stunned. How does... How does that happen? I don't even know what he is. I can, uh. All right, that's going to be uh, it for the day. I don't know what to do. So, <laughs> wow. I'll uh, I'll have to create him in the off season. I'll I'll go into the free agent pool, find an eighteen year old center fielder, and turn him into this dude. I'll uh, figure it out. All right, who else is streaming? We can go raid out because I'm done. I gotta go meet with this guy to see what the damage is the roof. Hopefully, there's none. I gotta go cut the grass and squeeze in a workout. So, I don't see anybody out here. Um, you guys have anybody you want me to go raid? Because I don't know. There's nobody on my board. Um, I'm stunned. I don't know. Um, let me check this guy out.
won't go to him. We can just do KD. He's doing NBA 2K24, so we'll just we'll, we'll go do him. We'll start raid. We'll go to KD. You guys have fun over there. I gotta go do my shit. So amazing. All right, you guys have a good one, and uh, I will catch you tomorrow. We will play August tomorrow. Hopefully, I can mentally recover from this ass fuck that I just got by the game. But anyway, you guys have a good rest of the day, and I will catch you probably closer to noon tomorrow. So have a good one, boys and girls, and I will see you later on. Thank you.